Hey everyone, it's Alina. I'm a digital marketer here at Deselect and today I'm joined with Lydia, customer success manager here. Hello. And today we're going to talk about recent campaigns and how you can create one using Deselect segment. So resending an email campaign might help you to reach nearly 54% more people and get almost 52% more clicks on the follow-up than the original. So what's the purpose of actually a recent email campaign? So it gives unopened recipients a chance to open an email and it also gives people who opened but didn't click on the email a chance to click on it. It also gives you an opportunity to do a certain A-B testing on your email campaign. So now I would like to ask Lydia, why did our customer success team come up with an idea of writing out this scenario of creating a recent campaign using Deselect? Yes, so this is because many of our customers made us uh, aware that they need a way to follow up with their inactive subscribers. So for that reason, we came with the idea of creating a segmentation scenario and this will captivate the attention of the subscribers that have haven't opened uh, their email first time. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And now our uh, colleague from a customer success team, Arhiro, is going to demonstrate you how to actually create a recent campaign using a deselect segment in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Let's assume you want to create a recent campaign for the people that received the email from this campaign but never opened it. The reason why you want to do this is so that you can send them the same email but this time with a different subject line. So basically I need my target audience from the previous end but this time only keeping the people that received the email but did not open it. So the first thing I will need is the job ID of the email I already sent them so I can get it through here. And now let's go in deselect and see how we can build our segment. You can find this select under Apex Change by clicking on the Deselect segment install package. I want to create a new target audience for my recent campaign, so for this reason I will click on the new selection button and I will provide a name for my segment. So the name I chose is recent campaign, but you can obviously choose whatever works best for you. Then I need to find the target audience of the previous send, so in my case it is this data extension and I will drag and drop it to the select data extensions area. The next thing I want to do is only keep the people that received the previous email. So in order to do that I will drag and drop the email field over here, select in results and then the send data view, which is the data view that contains sent information. So information about emails that have already been sent. And from here I will choose subscriber key because this is how my data model is set. And I want to further filter on this one by using the job ID of the email I sent in my previous campaign. So I will say job ID equals the job ID that you copy. And I can click on save. Now on the second step what I want to do is exclude the people that opened the email. So in order to do that I will drag and drop the email field one more time over here and then because I want to create an exclusion I will select not in results and then my open data view which contains open information and again here subscriber key and one more time I will further filter on the job ID of the email I already sent and I will click on save. And now let's go to the second step to target definition. So here I will create a new data extension which will be called target for recent and I will make it a sendable data extension so that I can use it for my recent campaign and click on save and this time I want all the fields from my selected data extension and I also want to make sure that I have my sender relationship right so I will choose email here and I will save. Now the only thing that is left for me to do is go to preview and run preview to make sure that the results that I get are the ones I expect. So now that we got our results we can use this target data extension to send a new campaign. 
Don't forget to run your selection though, so that your target data extension actually gets populated with a result. I hope this was helpful, thank you very much. Did you like this video? Are there any other scenarios for Salesforce Marketing Cloud that you would like us to cover? If so, please leave them in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like this and subscribe to our newsletter, the link you can find in the description to this video for more Salesforce Marketing Cloud best practices and deselect updates. Thank you for watching and bye! bye.